Hey Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you how to make some awesome knives for Mother's Day. Welcome to another episode of Outdoor Boys and today I'm making a Mother's Day project. A knife. I'm going to make a nice kitchen knife for my mom. Mother's Day is around the corner so this will be perfect. Now I have a bunch of these old farrier's rasps. I got a, like six of them for like ten bucks. And uh, they make really good knife blanks. The steel's high quality, it's already tempered and heat treated, so you don't need to use a forge or anything. You can just cut out your knife shape, polish it up, and you're off to the races. It's a great way to get into knife making. And one of the things I want you guys to understand is this is very easy, okay? There's lots of room for creativity and skill, but if you want to just start and get into making knives, you don't need a lot of equipment, you don't need a lot of space, and you don't need a lot of skill, frankly. Everything you see here um, is maybe 200 bucks worth of equipment and tools and supplies, and everything on this table is all I am going to use to build these knives. To kind of give you an idea of how easy this project is, I'm going to go ahead and hit the timer on my uh, phone here, and I'm going to kind of tell you how much time has passed as we do this so that you guys can get a feel for what it takes to build one of these knives. So I've taken the angle grinder and smoothed out three of these farrier rasps and I'm about 32 minutes into the project. Okay, we're about an hour and a half into the project, and you can see we got the rough profiles cut out, but got a lot of grinding to do to clean up the edges. All right, one down, two to go. I got the profile cut out nice the way I like it. We're two hours, 15 minutes into this project. So grinding it took about 45 minutes for all three. So we're moving right along. There we go, that was a lot of work. About 45 minutes of grinding just to get the beginning of the edge on the knives. Now I'm gonna finish it off with the belt sander and that's gonna take a little bit of time as well. We're three hours and 45 minutes into this project and we now officially have a knife. I've got an edge on here. It's not razor sharp, but this is a knife. I mean, if we wanted to stop right here, we could. This is a functional, beautiful knife, but we're gonna go ahead and put a handle on it and then sharpen it up really nice. Five hours, 10 minutes, and we've got the wood for the handles ready to be drilled. So we're getting really close to being done. All we have left to do is to polish the blades, to mount the, the wood on the handles, drill the holes, you know, set the epoxy, and then we're gonna sharpen the dickens out of these things. So we're getting really close to done. But unfortunately, little Jacob here needs some daddy time and it's getting a little bit late, so we're gonna pick this up again tomorrow. Now, each one of these handles is unique to the knife, so I've taped them together so I won't 
get them confused between now and tomorrow. And I think you need a little diaper change. You're feeling a little bit soggy there, buddy. All right, it's another beautiful day and we're ready to finish this project up. So we're going to go ahead and polish up the steel. Then we're gonna drill the holes for the handle. We're gonna put the handles on. Well, polishing all three knives on the 80 grit took me about 40 minutes. Uh, I need to do 280 grit and then maybe 800 grit or 600 grit and then 1000 grit. And I'm guessing it'll take me another 45 minutes to do all of that. So let's get cracking. It's time consuming. took about an hour 45 minutes to polish all three blades a lot more time than I expected so about six hours 45 minutes total on this project so let's get drilling on the handles and get those handles on it's another beautiful day I've got myself a new haircut and a whole bunch of drill bits we're gonna make this happen let's do this the steel used in rasps is extremely hard it's been specifically heat treated to make it hard and this can make it very difficult to drill holes in it. So what I do is I soften the steel using a torch. I heat up just the handle and mess up the, the heat treatment, temper it a little bit. That allows me to drill holes in it and I can do that without messing up the edge, so. All right, once the steel's turned that blue, get it nice and hot, just let it air cool. And once it's cold, we can drill it. Well, it took about an hour and a half to get the holes drilled in the metal and then the holes drilled in the wood. Now I'm ready to put the epoxy on it. We're gonna let it sit overnight and then we will be very close to finished. Well, I've got three knives all clamped up, ready to go. Just let them sit overnight, and then we'll be ready to finish this project. I'm really excited. Best Mother's Day present ever. All right, guys, it's been 24 hours in the epoxy set, so we're gonna get these clamps off these knives and get them grinding. So the handles look pretty good. We just need to grind down the pins, take off the excess wood, and just get it all polished up. We'll be done. So you may have noticed that these handles keep changing colors. They started off purple, then I sanded them and they turned brown. When you expose purple heartwood to light, it, it turns purple, darker and deeper purple. And so I just sanded this to make it all nice and smooth, so I got rid of most of the purple. But I'm gonna let these sit out in the sun for a day or two, and they should turn just a beautiful color of purple. We also need to sharpen these up, really put an edge on them. There we go guys, about nine and a half hours. And it's uh, not bad. This is a really fun project and hopefully uh, my mom's gonna enjoy this. I'm giving away one to my mom, one to my wife, and one to a neighbor. So I think this is gonna make a nice 
a nice present on Mother's Day. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to get out there and thank your wives and thank your mothers for all they've done for you. It's a wonderful time of year and a great time to remember the women in our lives. So don't forget Mother's Day, guys. I promised you that I would announce the winner of the belt buckle giveaway today. And the winner is Papa Mike Simpson. So Papa Mike Simpson, congratulations. I picked his comment from all the many, many awesome comments because it was voted the most popular and also because this is a big boy belt and Papa Mike Simpson looks like he could fill it up quite nicely. So um, <laughs> congratulations, uh, shoot me an email or shoot me a message on Facebook, Papa Mike Simpson with your address and I will send you your silver play button belt buckle. Well, thanks for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, bell this. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll get notified when we put out another great video. Click subscribe. I'm a bad